Good morning, students. Is everyone here? Oh, how smart he is. And he's also super handsome. Ah, no matter how hard the guys try, Carol's heart belongs only to one man, her beloved teacher. Everyone who's in love wants to be as close as possible to their crush. Australia is not only a country, but also a mainland. There it is. Did you get that? Hmm. But Carol fell in love with the teacher, and now all that she has left is to admire him during the lessons. She wasn't sitting there. Oh, whatever. Let's continue. The capital of Australia is Canberra, not Sydney as many people think. Carol? How did I end up sitting here? How does she do that? Well, it looks like Carol decided that the closer the better, even in the classroom. I'm listening to you carefully, my dar. I mean, Mr. Hunter. Uh-oh, isn't that too close? The coast is clear, Jasmine, follow me. Love makes us do crazy things. So Carol decided to perform a little feat to surprise Mr. Hunter. Great, it's open. Jasmine, hold it firmly. I'm going in. That is, I'm crawling. You seem to be lighter. Yes? I'm on a secret mission helping Carol get into Mr. Hunter's office. Hold on a second. I'm back, spit it out. Have you bought a new purse? All right, I have a few minutes. I hope Mr. Hunter will like my gift. Huh, where did this cable come from? People are walking here. Carol, what are you doing here? Mr. Hunter, this is for you. I have to go. But how did you get in here? And what's going on? Well, the mission failed, but it seems that Mr. Hunter still appreciated the efforts of his student. Hmm. Oh, those girls. The new teacher, Mr. Hunter, is very popular with his students. And it looks like Carol has got some competition. Mr. Hunter, this is for you. I know that it's your favorite chocolate bar. Um, thanks, Amanda. Oh, what a sweetheart he is. Good afternoon, Mr. Hunter. Yes, yes, hello, Amanda. Do you want something? Yes, here you go. Whoa, movie tickets. Amanda has serious intentions. However, Mr. Hunter doesn't even notice the enamored high school girl. Mr. Hunter! Oops, are you still there? What were you talking about? Are those movie tickets? Yeah, for two, if you know what I mean. Oh, I know exactly what you mean. Done. Thanks for the tickets. You may go. I don't need grades. I need Mr. Hunter! At a school party, it's easy to meet your first love or win the heart of an already liked candidate. Hi, Julia. Cool party, isn't it? Indeed. Listen, you know what I found in the dressing room of the school theater today? These hand cuffs. Wow. wow, Julia, I have a brilliant idea. You go and turn off the light and I'll catch Mr. Hunter. I'm all in. Hi, would you like something to drink? Help yourself. Hey, boy, hands off. That's not for everyone. Let's go, love. What? I caught nerd Andrew. No help. Let me go. <laughs> Carol, relax. Let me take it off. It's just too easy to make a mistake in the dark. And you, handsome, are coming with me. Well, at least someone got lucky. We'll be together, Mr. Hunter. <laughs> Since the usual methods do not work, lovesick Amanda decided to use her magical powers. Let my potion brew. I wish Mr. Hunter knew. I'm perfect for him and his life, and he must make me his wife. 
now you can't get away from me, teacher! <laughs> ah, I love green tea. Mr. Hunter, good morning! Hello, Amanda. Did you want to tell me something? Um, yes, you have a mistake on your schedule. Let me see. Everything's correct here. Hmm. Come on, just a few more drops, just to be sure it works. I checked it, it's correct. See for yourself. Good. Huh. The green tea has gone sour. Don't miss tomorrow's cl- yeah. Oops, I didn't expect the potion to work so quickly. Well, that's all right, I'll wait. He'll wake up and fall in love with me right away. We will be such a beautiful couple. Oh, he's waking up. Oh, what was that? Oh no! Oops, it looks like Amanda got the recipe wrong. <laughs> Being in love is the perfect time for sweet dreams. Those who have done this task can move to the following one. Who can talk about math if your mind is completely occupied by thoughts about your favorite teacher? Carol can't even think about studying now. I wonder how Mr. Hunter would look without his jacket. Wow, it looks like Carol's imagination is completely out of control. It's so hot in here. Don't you think so, Carol? Yes, it should work. I'll just add some warmth. Done. Now I just need to wait a bit. Oh, it's stuffy in here. Well, let's discuss the importance of mathematics. Come on, why isn't he taking off his jacket? Hmm. Is he stuck in it? Why is it so hot in here? Maybe the air conditioner is broken. Just look at my armpits. They can't breathe. Oh, what's that awful smell? I'm gonna be sick now. I have to cancel everything right now. No, oh, I'm gonna freeze! Ugh, you! What's happened to the air conditioner today? And where's the remote control? Oh, that's a break! Finally, everybody's free! See you guys! Mr. Hunter, wait! So my next lesson is in room 15. Oh, sorry, Mr. Hunter. I'm so clumsy. That's all right, Amanda. Be more careful next time. Love makes the heart beat faster, and the mind keep daydreaming. But it seems like Amanda has already completely mixed up imagination with reality. Hi, Amanda. This is for you. What? And who are you? I'm Dan. We have the same math class together. Sorry, Dan. I really need to refresh my memory. Today, Carol is behaving unusually. It means that she has a new plan. Carol, what's gotten into you? You weren't just late, but now you've made a mess of this place? That's it, you're punished. You have detention. Obviously, Carol still managed to achieve her goal. Now that she can stay alone with her adored teacher. Oh, Carol, and I thought you were a diligent student. I hope this will be a lesson for you. Good luck. Oh no! Correctional classes are taught by strict Mr. Rogers! Well, another of Carol's attempts to conquer Mr. Hunter failed. Good evening, Carol. I'll keep an eye on how you work. Everything should be perfect. Do you understand me? Sure, Mr. Rogers. Oh, how interesting. It's so Ooh. interesting that I'm gonna <sighs> sleep right now. Hmm. It seems like Amanda is dreaming of something nice. Amanda, I've wanted to tell you for so long. I love you. Now it's all clear. Yes, Amanda likes such a dream much more than a boring book. Oh, I'm so happy. I have my beloved husband and our little child. Another child? And another child? Oh no, that's too much. How are we going to live on his salary? Oh, what a relief. 
It was just a dream. Did you like our video? Then like it, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to click on the bell. See you!